Hey you guys, Alex here with Trooper Gaming, and we finished Croc 1! Woo! So now that we've finished up the series, we 100 percent the game, we saved all the gobos, we got all the gems, we did all the stuff, but we need, we need something else to play. And, uh, and I got a couple ideas, and I decided that I wanted to, as I said in, I think it was episode 14, as I said, I want to, I want to bring this uh, decision over to you guys. So, what that means is that in this video I'm going to present three games. Feel free to comment, vote, tell me what you think, you can tell me on Twitter, and yeah, the one that gets either the most votes or the most amount of buzz around it will probably be the one that I do a series on. Do be aware that the ne that next Wednesday is going to be blank, only because I'm going to need a bit more time to sort of get things a bit set up for at least one of these games. So if one of these games is winning, then I'm definitely going to need to do a little bit of tech stuff. I'm going to obviously need to do the art and make the game run and all the other stuff. But the games are as follows. Option one is the original Donkey Kong Country. Yes, the 1994 rare platformer absolute monster of a game, DK Donkey Kong Country 1 um, on the Super Nintendo. I really love to dive into this. It came out the year I was born, so yeah. I'm a huge Donkey Kong fan, a huge Rare fan, so yeah, this is definitely up on the list of platformers I want to play. Option 2 is a suggestion that I got kind of midway through Korok 1 actually, and that's Earthworm Jim. I have never played this game, so this would be totally blind. All I know is you're an Earthworm in a spacesuit with a ray gun. That's about my understanding of Earthworm Jim. Um, so, so yeah, it could be an interesting one to dive into, um, but yeah, completely blind, know nothing about it, so yeah, that one is option two. And then finally, option three is actually continuing on from one of one uh, an earlier series that I've done, Rayman 1, where I actually kind of want to play Rayman Revolution on the PS2. Um, the reason why I chose Rayman Revolution is because it is the definitive remastered way to play Rayman 2. And of course, Rayman 2 The Great Escape has been ported to basically everything. <laughs> but Revolution just brings in additional areas, like upgradable powers. There's like loads of there's loads of extra stuff in it. Um, so and and again, I've not played Rayman Revolution in, in a good few years now. So I wanted to wanted to dive back into that one as well. And those are the three options. So as I said uh, early in the video, comment. Hit me up on Twitter. Um, let me know what you guys want me to play. Um, give me a little bit of time. We will make we will we will make a new series, new platformers, and um, yeah, we can go from there. And if you have any other ideas of other games that you uh, that you think I should play, um, stick them in the comments as well. I will uh, I will I will make a wee note. Um, probably not be the latest series, but I'll definitely get around to it. So yeah, guys. Thank you very much indeed for listening to me ramble for a few minutes and for taking part and um, giving me your opinion. And um, yeah, if you like if you like this kind of thing, give it a like. Um, if you never want me to do this again and just want me to pump out series, then sure, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> um, and if you want to see a little bit more of me and get a notification for when this next series comes out, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell button. And um, yeah, guys, take care of yourselves. And until next time.